You see, when you look at the Bible, Judas Iscariot was consumed by his own evil or wickedness or his own sins. And I want you to realize something in the Bible, in the word of God. And I'm just glad, you know, like recently the Lord has put me into another dimension of understanding his way. That is why it is becomes easier and easier for me to hear when he is talking and to understand. Because in each and everything, when people hurt you, when people leave you, listen, it is there in the Bible and your solution is there in the Bible as well as your reaction. I know that sometimes it can be hard. Sometimes you might not know what to do. Sometimes you won't know whether you give them another chance you let go or whether it is the Lord who is saying reconcile with this person. So here I have a word right now. Please take it to note, write it down. You might never hear this anywhere else but this could be the only platform or the only place you will ever ever hear this like this okay so listen and by the way you're watching me for the first time i'm of course ishmael and, and i welcome you to today's long video okay so listen very well here yeah. when people decide to live your life at the end of the day it's a decision it's a free will that they just make on their own and one thing you must understand when you go to the Bible, the prodigal son, there came a time when he decided you just want to be independent. So that is why it is easy that people, whether it's friends, this can even be in general. Anybody can look at you. Anybody can just decide to leave you. Anybody can just dis decide to go and think like there is greener pastures. So please, don't take this lightly. Don't take it as if like you did something wrong. It's not always. And of course, as human beings, we also do mess up at times. And sometimes when you're honest with yourself, you can know that this is my fault. As well as sometimes you realize it has nothing to do with you. The prodigal son left, enjoyed his money. But listen, there's something that is very important with what he did. It's something, it's a big, big lesson. I know that you feel like you know the scripture and you're, but this time around, look at it like this. The prodigal son, there came a time and he just decided when his money was finished and all. At first, he didn't want to go back because, you know, he thought he's going to make it on his own. But then he realized that I'm suffering worse. And then it came to his senses and he remembered that, you know what, even the servants of my father, they live well. Why can't I go back and be like the my father's servants? And listen to this now. The reason why did he choose to be treated as a servant? It is because he was embarrassed of his actions. He was in regret. So it was at his most, outermost humble state. Was he not to be humble? Was he not to feel ashamed? He was just going to go back and say, yeah, I have a right here. My father can take me back. But he knew that he messed up big time he didn't even deserve a second chance that is why today i want to tell you something people who mess up people who just leave you when that person decided to just live your life when that person decided to just take you for granted allow me to tell you that it does not mean that they, that they're gonna live like that for the rest of their life no there comes a time where they look back they begin to think about you. And just because you are, you are a normal human being, sometimes you won't know that they are thinking about you. But I assure you, any place that a human being has been treated well, they never forget. Most especially when they reach a season, when they reach a wilderness. When you feel like, Lord, where can my help come from? The first place they reminded of is where back there but that i used to be treated better where i'm coming from but it ne my life never used to be this bad listen big regret listen there is a, there is a reward in being good there is a huge reward when you treat people well there is something there is there are benefits to you for being good, the kind of a person that you are, as much as they take advantage of you, yes, I know you'll be like, yo, I know it still hurts when you look back, when you look and you'll be like, but this person took me for granted. I did nothing wrong. 
this person is like i try to even make things right but they just left me they betrayed me there is a reward to doing good listen very well here jesus in the case of judas iscariot the bible made it clear indeed jesus didn't stop judas from betraying him and all he went on with the plan but if there's something that you can note down after successfully you, you did you hear that successfully betraying the lord jesus it is very clear at the end of the day that at the end it was the regret that hit him big because as at the end of the day he went and he committed suicide because of guilt innocent blood he even confessed it yo he wished that you could turn back time Jesus didn't threaten Judas. Jesus didn't do anything but his silence. Deep down guilt, even to someone who's evil, there is guilt. I'm sure you might have heard. There are criminals today who are in regret. There are killers today. Some, when they look back, they'll be like, you know what? I don't want, I don't want my child, or I don't want my kids, or I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I've made. If I could go back, they remember the people that they killed ruthlessly regret hits them they wish they could reverse they could go back and turn things around and change their actions that is why even people when they are arrested some they will say hey i don't want us when they see that young person is being released they'll be like you know what i don't want you to be like me i don't want to see you back here again and with today's video i have good news for you right now that they do not worry and right now you just might not know you just might not know until it happens they do want to pick up the phone and call but there is always that first reaction first thing that comes into mind what if this person does not pick up my call what if this person no longer wants to talk to me? what if they shout at me they try to hang in there but the more the guilt the guilt increases that is how some people, they end up contacting you. That is how Judas Iscariot ended up taking his own life. He couldn't, the guilt increased, increased to an extent where he couldn't hold it anymore. And he felt like maybe it is better I just die. I can't live with this guilt. That is why you'd be surprised that the very same person ends up calling you. The initial reaction was not to call you just because he thought of you. No, no, no. Like the prodigal son, his first reaction was not to go back to his father the moment his money ran out he tried to survive on his own until he couldn't take it no more and i'm telling you right now daddy due to your kindness the lord is making you re reap rewards for your good and your kindness in jesus mighty name and please note but if you were the one on the wrong be the one to apologize okay it won't take anything away from you this only applies when indeed you are innocent and you know the reality is like you did nothing wrong. And may the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Be free to testify about it. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.